James asked if I could speak on the hate directed to Dave and the LPMC. I'm perplexed. As an anarchist and a gay dude, I'm confused by the hate targeted at the LPMC who have always been so welcoming to me. I don't get it either. Honestly, James, I don't. And I just resolved in my life for 2020. I'm I'm just... I'm not even dealing with it. I'm not even engaging with it. It, It's such negativity. I'm like, like a water off a duck. Are there bad actors in every group? Of course. Deal with the bad actors. This collectivization, I really, really don't get it. And, you know, I'm not even going to try to get it. I'm just going to know in my heart that I always do what I think is the ethical thing. And if I ever thought they were harboring racists of any sort or bigots of any sort, I'd be gone. I'd be absolutely gone. That's why I don't even get upset with the fucketarians who try to now put all these slurs on me because I know my heart and Never in a million years. You know, I've had a lot of faults in my life, but being a bigot with one exception, and I'm going to tell you the exception, and you'll understand because we come from the same background, um, James. Um, And I also consider myself a member now, it took me a long time to admit it, of the GRSM community. Um, But when I was in fundamentalist Christianity, You know, I didn't have, I I had some very terrible opinions about gay people. I honestly did. And it was very, very hurtful. That's what brought me out of fundamentalism because I started examining the issue and realizing I, I just couldn't believe that. I had this cognitive dissonance where I had so many gay friends and I knew they were not, there was, that there wasn't anything wrong with this. You know, and I just couldn't hold that anymore. But for a while, yeah, I did have those views. And I totally regret that. I totally regret it. And it was a bit of self-hatred because, as I said, I consider myself also a member of the GSRM community. Um, In different circumstances, I've often said on Facebook you know, I consider myself heteroflexible and in different circumstances in life, I could have ended up with um, being with a woman. So, you know, maybe there was some self-hatred there. But when it comes to, to non-religiously motivated things, and a lot of religious people are really caught up in that, and I am very sad for them. But when it comes to things like races... Never, ever, ever in a million years. So those people could say whatever they want about me. I know me. And, you know, that's all I can say, James, is you do you, boo-boo. And if, if, you know, you find it welcoming, like I find it welcoming, then that's really all that matters. People are going to, at least what, say, haters Haters are going to hate, you know? And um, speaking further, though, on the um, issue of Christianity and differing sexualities, uh, some of my formal fundamentalist friends, like, they consider me completely apostate now because I'm completely affirming. And they think I've had to abandon my faith, but I didn't. I... I believe that those passages that I thought taught one thing actually teach something else. I don't have to compromise my my biblical values, and maybe someday I'll I'll talk about that. But the 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 short thing is, most of those passages were actually talking about pederasty, which was very very common in the ancient world, or um, ritualistic. Uh, temple prostitution type things. And that's not at all, it's not, you. Know, it, it has nothing to do with what we're talking about today, you know? And um, it's a shame. 
it makes me really, really sad. It makes me really, really sad that I used to, um, I used to hold those, hold those views. Um, and James asks, what is GSRM? Some people just say GSM. It's, it's kind of the new acronym that is in some circles replacing LGBT because of all the initials that keep getting out on. So it's gender and relationship sexual minorities. And a lot of people think it's more inclusive. So it would include also um, alternative lifestyles such as polyamory or even the BDSM community, Heinleinian line marriages, you know, because it's, it's not just you know, sexual orientations that are also a sexual minority. There are people who um, choose different re different relationship um, structures, you know. And it's funny, as a um, libertarian, you know, I, I'm laughing at some of the past arguments used to be, are people born a certain way or is it a choice? You want to know what? I don't care because you have the right to make a choice. I don't think it's a choice, but even if it was, who cares? You're an autonomous being. You can choose what you want. And that's why I kind of like the GSRM because it also does talk about things that are obviously choices like certain living arrangements. So it, it, it's a wider umbrella. So that's, um, I kind of like that. And fun fact, if you didn't know, more than half of the current Libertarian National Committee would be members of the GSRM community. And I think that is very, very exciting. Um, I don't think the Democrats can say that for all their talk. Um, just, just interesting, interesting here. You gotta take what you're given, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians Or choose to be an accountant because it's safe in a business Not because they wanna